Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for Blackcraft Colt. I've only shopped there once before for this muscle tank. So this will be my second order from them and I'm excited. One thing I do have to say about Blackcraft Colt is that you cannot get in touch with their customer service. This is the one thing I absolutely hate about Blackcraft Cult is their customer service. I have tried to get measurements and advice from them and I never hear back from them. So if you have any questions regarding their site, I just suggest going on a Facebook group or researching through YouTube videos about their sizing because this was a complete shot in the dark. Anyways, let's get started. Also, yes, I am wearing my glasses today, so don't make fun of me. Okay, so in this order I got two items. I got the Unholy Shorts in a large and the Black Craft Cult Goat Active Jacket in a large as well. And I got this during the 40% off sale that they had. And I, I really only shop whenever there is a sale going on just because I don't like spending full price for stuff. So you get two cards in here. One is the gift card card, just saying that they have gift cards, not giving you anything. And then a really cool looking card. Thank you for joining the Black Craft Cult family. We hope our products will encourage you to blah, 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 blah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to start off with the shorts. really stretchy like really stretchy <laughs> I like that unholy and they have their little logo they have their logo on everything which I kind of don't like you know I like to have just a cute little design or a graphic without everybody knowing hey black craft cult So in the shorts, you can see how it goes up right here, like kind of like jogger shorts. And the material is really soft and very like stretchy. I like that, uh, especially the waistband has a lot of stretch to it. So I'm a size US 10 and I usually get things in large just because I never know what I'm going to get. Sometimes they're too big, sometimes they're perfect. So it's just a matter of me trying it on and giving everybody an idea. Especially if it if like if I get pants and they're waist high, then I usually have to go down a size because my waist is smaller than my hips. I have large hips. Okay, the second thing that I'm going to be opening is the jacket. The reason why I got this jacket in the first place is because there was a 40% off discount and I just wanted to make the most out of it and I really could care less about this jacket but it looked cool and it was at full price so I got it. This is what it looks like. Unholy. These are the sleeves. I 
this material right here around the edges and the sleeves part right here very soft very silky soft very stretchy um, <clears throat> the fishnet is kind of rough but what do you expect from fishnet if only they made a soft fishnet this is their zipper black cloth I don't know if you can see that this is their zipper goes down the front okay getting kind of worried okay. it only goes down halfway huh. I didn't know that I didn't pay close enough attention I guess It's really good material. It's really stretchy. It's soft. Um, I really like that the zipper only goes halfway down. That's not really a deal breaker for me. The thing that I was most concerned about is the zipper kind of gets stuck a little bit. But after you do it a couple times, it gets easier. And it does come with the hood. This is the hood part. And this is the outside of the hood. So you're not ending in fishnet. You're ending like a soft material. Um, it is cropped and I don't really do cropped shirts unless I have a shirt underneath it because I'm not really comfortable in my body right now. So <clears throat> I'm going to try this on with a shirt underneath because I really don't feel comfortable enough to try this on especially in front of the camera without a shirt underneath. So this is the jacket. As you can see I'm wearing a shirt underneath it. If I wasn't this would be completely see-through down here. It's really short. Um, I have a 32 triple D chest, so it kind of hangs down right where, where I'm at, which kind of sucks. I kind of wish that I would have gotten a size up. Just so I would have more room down here. I definitely would not wear this without a shirt. These are the arms. This material right here is very stretchy. There's no thumb holes. Stretchy, stretchy. And <laughs> See what my glasses. like a jogger jacket for sure. You wear this when you're working out or something on a one day. It's really cool. Um, the only thing that I would suggest is that it was just a tad bit longer for bigger breasts. Hopefully when I start working out I'll lose a little bit and it'll fit better. But I like it. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of <laughs> this right here kind of reminds me of the flag with all the stars which kind of makes it look patriotic which is kind of weird because it's not really what I want in an unholy jacket but overall I like it definitely be it would definitely be better if I didn't have a big chest. It's 
It's kind of better unzipped, I guess. Comes down a little bit more when it's unzipped. So these are the shorts. They're really stretchy. I can stretch in them, which is good. They'd be good working out shorts whenever I start working out. They do not have pockets. No pockets. I really like the material. I really like the material. So in case you were wondering about this shirt, this tank top that I have on, um, this is the print. I really love that what you feel. I love the moons. Unfortunately, they do have their name on the shirt, but other than that, I really like it. It's really comfortable. I wear it more than my other shirts because a lot of my other shirts are like Killstar and they're too fancy to like just wear on the day. But so Black Craft Cult is a very good company. I highly recommend them. I just don't recommend their customer service if you have any questions because they will not answer you. They don't exist. I believe that their clothing selection is for youths. Um, like teens so if you're older and you're more filled out and you don't want things sticking to you because they're too tight I definitely recommend sizing up this shirt is a large I was highly considering getting a medium just because I'm a medium in a lot of things but I sized up because I just noticed that there are a lot of items on their website that are directed towards youths and teens. So hopefully that tip will get you somewhere and you'll be able to figure out the size accordingly. As I mentioned, I got this lot during the 40% off sale so I did get a really good deal for them and I will be wearing them. So if you get an item and it doesn't fit, I just recommend selling it and just buying your size, especially because the customer service sucks. So with my first order when I got this shirt, I also got another shirt that was on, on sale. And that shirt didn't fit me. Uh, the material is very stretchy. It was like a turtleneck muscle tank and I thought I would like it and so I bought it. <laughs> And then it turns out it was too small, even though I got a large. And I didn't want to go through the hassle of trying to return it or exchange it because one, it was part of the sale. They probably didn't have my size. And two, I just didn't want to go through their customer service. And I just ended up selling it on eBay and it worked out in the end. So technically my sale from eBay bought like my shorts. I hope that I helped with all the sizing questions and the customer service questions. And, and if you're really looking to buy from Black Craft Cult or have any questions regarding their legitimacy, go for it. They're great. The quality is great. I just recommend sizing up if you're not a teenager. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. And I hope that y'all all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and are being safe. Bye.